What up, though? How y'all doing out there? Let's get let's get that on. It is Thursday. Yesterday I was talking about the insomnia shit and how I haven't been sleeping well. And then in in return in in turn it makes it, it makes my tummy hurt. And my homegirl was like try banana t- tea. Or my homeboy, they're brothers and sisters. And the banana tea is you take a banana and boil that shit for like ten minutes. And it's crazy. The the skin goes from like yellow to like a weird brown. It looks fucking disgusting. And the water goes kind of the water's kind of like a brown tea. So now you're probably asking yourself, did it work? And the answer, yeah, it worked pretty fucking good, dude. I was, I'm fucking surprised. Shout out to Banana Tea. The, but, med, the but medicinal qualities of fucking sh- shit from the earth. John doesn't believe that shit. He needs like the FDA to put a stamp on it. Kind of the right tests. They're bought and paid for, dude. They're a fucking... The FDA is a gang. They're a fucking gang. And they make it so fucking expensive to get your shit fucking plugged in that only fucking giant businesses can fucking make changes. And that's real. But that banana shit worked pretty fucking good. I didn't... I didn't knock me out the whole night. Then I... I woke, I woke up and, but I was able to sleep for three hours and I, uh, then I just did regular drugs. Hit a little Zambar and, uh, knocked out. So shout out to the fucking banana tea. I'm going to, I'm going to get a bunch of bananas and just keep doing that shit. So if you lightweight, have like a little problem sleeping. And don't want to become a fucking pill addict. Try banana tea. Who the fuck knew? It didn't even taste that bad either. Just wash the banana first. Because you know, man, like all the spraying and fucking handling of that shit. But uh, yeah, it was fucking... Didn't taste that bad. It just tastes kind of like a... Water with a hint of banana. I don't know if you've ever been to a fancy spa before. I've, I've, I have to get a facial, and they give you the fucking water with a cucumber in it. And it's and that that's what, and it's like water with a hint of cucumber. This that's what this shit was like. It was like water with a hint of banana, and it makes you a little sleepy. I was sitting there drinking some on the couch, and I was like, oh, this is making me sleepy. I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to Betty Bye. Fucking knocked out. It was awesome. Oh shit! I I'm on the wrong computer. We got. I'm, we're running two different computers because all my fucking music is on the laptop. It's literally some fucking HP from seven years ago or some shit. This is like a, it's a George W. Bush edition. It's how old that shit is. But it doesn't have any of the fucking. I gotta use another computer for uh, taking phone calls. Oh, Chris, go ahead, man. Hey, what's up, Jude? Just want to say real quick, I love your show. Listen to it every day, man, on my way from work. Uh, and I just wanted to make a quick comment about the FDA stuff you're talking about. I'm a medical researcher here in Detroit, uh, and they are just as corrupt as you say they are, my man. I tell that I told I thank thank you. And you're and you and he works in the medical industry, John. You have to trust someone. You have to trust somebody. Trust but verify. I mean, 
like the medicine works, you know what I mean? But money talks. So like the companies that have the most money, they get their stuff approved in like months. And then the companies that don't have so much money, it might take them like, you know, years, decades to even get something approved. So yep. it's all about the money, man. You know how it is. Yep, I'm sure there's I'm sure there's all types of cures for shit out there. There probably is. And it's like they just can't even get the shit approved. Because and then that's yeah. the other thing. It's like if you look at if you look at a lot of this shit, like it's not like I I can take fucking Xanax for a month and it'll fucking chill me out and then I can start sleeping well again. It's just it's just this is the forever treatment. Like you're okay, you're gonna you're gonna be on that shit forever to sleep. They just make customers. Yeah. I ain't, yeah. Am I right or am I right? I mean, you're right in a way, but uh, I think, like, you know, as far as the whole cure thing goes, like, if there was someone who actually came up with the cure for cancer, uh, they would be, like, just instant, you know, millionaires. Whatever company came up with that is instant success. So I, I think what, what if, I what don't if, think they're... What, Chris, what if, you, what if it was just like me? at the crib and was like I just mixed up some shit and was like god damn it that cured cancer you know what I mean like yeah I don't know if that would ever get approved that's what I'm screaming I bet you there's some fucking hippie like making juices and shit curing cancer out there no one knows no one fucking it probably knows. is man yep you I always felt like that thanks uh, uh, I always felt like that Chris but the shit that really killed me w was one was when the sugar companies paid off the FDA back in like the 60s there was this there was this they did this research and it was um, what led to heart disease and it was sugar and fat and the sugar companies paid off the FDA to say just fat and then now now you fast forward to fucking 20s. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All all sorts of companies pay the FDA all sorts of amounts of money to like keep the stuff they add in food legal and and stuff like that. It's, it's all killing us, man. See, it's got to pick your poison. That's right. Thanks, man. Peace. Yeah, yeah. Just Thanks. Peace. Peace. See, John says right here in the Washington Post that the Tough Center for Study of Drug Development projected it takes two point six billion dollars to get a drug approved. I'm just, see, I, I don't even need to say nothing else. I'm just, I told you. <laughs> John. I believe in you. Clyde, Miami. Yo, what up, dude? What's happening, man? Not much. I hear getting it. So, uh, what kind of uh, banana do you use? Sweet or like the ones they used to fry plantains? I don't know. I, I got my I ordered my shit off of like Amazon Prime, so they just brought some fucking like dull regular fucking. But maybe, I, maybe when them maybe them plantains will work too. Like I mean, they're in the okay. they're in the same family. True, true. Hey man, your books are fired too. I wanted to let you know. Thanks, Clyde. I appreciate you. You hear that? My books are fire, Clyde. Clyde co-signed that shit, and he knows about yeah, yeah. That. He's fucking well versed in fruit. So fuck y'all. Get my shit. Hell yeah. My man. Hey, one more thing. Let yeah. me ask you, um, is John there? Yeah, John's here. Go ahead. Hey, John, quick question. Right. Not not to hate on um, hyena weed, but let me ask you a question. Does um, Domo be hanging out with you and smoking all your weed? Uh, you know, uh, she. I, I think typically she's, she actually picked it up. So oh, okay, that's okay. that's how fucking pathetic this guy is. <laughs> well, she, 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 she smokes a lot. So when she's in town, she'll go to the dispensary and get to... Uh, He's so of. fucking... You're just so pathetic, dog. I get her food. I, go, I mean, I got what, her food yesterday. What, did, what kind of food would you get her? Oh, I, I dropped about like uh, 40, 50 bucks, this burger place. She wanted to go there. Look at you. God, yeah, burger, God, you don't stand the friend zone, bro. So what did you do after that? Did she suck you up or anything? Or uh, there was no There was no oral after that. Nothing. No. Did you rub? Did you rub her back? I said I, I was glad that she was my friend. What a bitch! <laughs> we hugged. It was a very warm embrace. We hugged. I don't even know Our how this show is. Like I, I don't even know how this show is on a rap station because I got John, the corniest man of in all of hip hop. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna like suddenly, uh, you know, do something to my friend there. Like, hey, how about a kiss? I mean, what am I gonna do? After you left, I was, for any of y'all that missed the show yesterday, John's porn friend, Domo, who's fucking cute and mad fuckable, 
was in here and like I was like what's up man would, would you fuck with John like and it's just like you do everything to not get pussy I, you're like what can I do today to not get pussy okay I'll stay sleeping on the couch I'll keep th- this let's go for four days in a row on underwear and I'll jerk off a bunch so that I'm not even I don't even come off a little bit fucking sexual she knows that I'm sexual, and and furthermore, uh, I'm, I'm I'm still in striking distance. Not that I'm trying to do anything to to Delmo, but uh, she's still she's still in the in the neighborhood. When she comes back, we'll have her you two do y'all dances together, and we'll see how sexual you got. I, I, I can turn it on. <laughs> you ain't turning shit on. You ain't turning shit on. Uh, oh, my man's got some insight on pharmaceuticals go ahead paul yep what's up man go ahead oh am i yeah did you yeah man you were talking hey man what's up right on yeah Yeah, it's paul from dc no i just had some insight on the uh the whole pharmaceutical industry profiting that kind of thing um used to sell pharmaceuticals for a long time and i mean I can tell you, for one, you go into a doctor's office and you tell them you're going to give them a cruise and give them a lot of spending money to go um, and guarantee you they're going to sell your pharmaceuticals, stuff that they probably shouldn't be selling. And, I mean, that happens all the time. I, I, even my own doctor, they put me on a blood pressure medicine that I didn't even need to be on just because, come to find out, I knew the rep that was pushing that particular pharmaceutical there. And they get and they get little di- don't they give them like little free things they can't they can't cash them out but they get little fun things for selling selling a bunch of the same oh job. they they get spending money on those vacations no straight up cash damn see yeah shit oh yeah so so I mean you you do the research you could you could clearly see there's I mean look at look at you'll get your boy Nipsey he I mean there's a lot of conspiracy behind that so I mean I think that says a lot. So that that dude who says he's in the pharmaceutical industry, yeah, sure you were, buddy. He was kind of co-signing the same shit. We just he just didn't bring up that point. Um, let's go to Carlin in uh, California. Hey, Carlin. What's up? How you doing today? I'm um, I'm actually doing really good. I got, got a nice night's sleep, and we're bring we're going to be talking to the virgin that's selling her virginity for a million dollars. So. I'm I'm fucking awesome. <laughs> I'm, that sounds good. Happy Friday, Junior. I'm going to see my uh, long distance boyfriend, and I need some song suggestions. Why uh, you did, for why, that night? Man, you shouldn't be worrying. He should be the man, and he he needs to have. He needs. You're going to see him, right? Yeah, he's flying me out though. Yeah, yeah. So don't worry about it. Just chill. Okay, I'm 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 freaking out a little bit. You can't tell. I, why are you freaking out? We haven't seen each other in six months. So what are you afraid of? I don't know, man. I, I'm worried he's he's talking to someone else. I'm trying to, you know, let him know what's up. Let him know that I'm the package deal. So what, you was just going to hit him with like a song and he'd be, he'd be like, oh, yeah, she's the one. <laughs> this Bieber and Lil Wayne so. goes hard. Not nah, <laughs> just fucking... Take a deep breath, calm down, enjoy your time with him, and don't worry about All whether right. or not he's fucking somebody else because you can't. You, it, there's nothing you can do about it. He's too, All right, he's that's too what far I need away. to hear today. Thank you, man. Yeah, yeah. Just enjoy <laughs> yourself. Have some, have some fun. He's flying you out. All right. Thanks, yeah. dude. Yeah. Have a good one, guys. You too. All right. So uh, we got, we got uh, what's our what's our girl name? Heidi Pandora. Heidi Pan- Heidi Pandora. Heidi Pandora, she was selling her virginity for a million dollars. She's coming on. We're going to talk to her and uh, see how that's going for her. Can you send me the articles where the damning articles about her shit? Because I'm going to hit her. I'm going to hit her with them like fucking Barbara Walters used to do and shit. She's ready. I'm gonna fucking Connie Chung her ass. She ain't gonna be ready for my hit her with some fucking hard hitting questions. I right, don't go nowhere. We got that. The news and <laughs> Pilly Pill. 
Let's go. You're listening to the All Out Show with you. you, you, you Yo, Shay 45. Oh, okay, so <laughs> what was it like a month ago? A month or two ago? Oh, uh, just a little bit ago. Uh, we got to talk to a sugar baby who is selling her virginity for one million dollars her name is Heidi Pandora half a million. Oh, half a million dollars yeah, I wanted to give more opportunity to the public so I went from one million to half a million is it because you just weren't is it because you nobody was buying it a million so you, you no, put yourself on, that, you're on the sale rack I know right now you know economy is kind of hard on people so I just want to give more opportunities to the Ac- public actually Heidi the economy is has been booming yeah okay yeah. <laughs> alright alright keep going keep going <laughs> Just so, myself. so maybe you should maybe you should go back to that million dollar mark. You know what? Yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. One million dollars now. I just went from five thousand, five hundred thousand to one million. That's how. You, that's how you do it. That, yeah. That's that's how Greg Goose was able to compete with Absolute. <laughs> they just they just up the price. All right, let's do it. Be the <laughs> Greg <upgrade>. Goose. <laughs> well, mate. So for people that didn't get to hear the first interview. What made you uh, decide you were going to sell your virginity? Well, I was waiting until marriage, but I've been on so many um, dating websites and yeah. I'm currently a stripper right now. So because of my experiences, I have lost faith in love. So I'd rather just um, sell my virginity rather than give it away for, for free. What What were some of your experiences that made you lose faith and love well already. i was on a travel dating website and i traveled to like 30 different countries on blind dates around the world with strangers and then um, i'm also a stripper now so i realized that many men on these websites are married men so i realized you know why if they're married and they're in love why are they out there on dating sites or going to see strippers oh okay so it's your your lack of faith in men um yeah did you not get on the plane when you would they surprise you with it or what what do you mean who surprised me with what would they be like yeah yeah i'll fly you out to wherever the fuck i am in sweden oh no it's and it's not like way, that I'm it's married it's more like oh no no like that i was never surprised by that you know what i mean like it was already expected you know all these men's with relationships and being with different women at the same time so how long like when you go on it's these a trips, new generation how, you know what i mean how long are you how long are you with these dudes on the travel um it depends so like i could be like um for the least like one week to a month so like i was in kuwait for one month and like other parts of the world you was hanging out with like an oil sultan or some shit like that <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means, but like somebody got rich off of oil. Um, yeah, I've, I mean, I've met many different people. I've they, been to Dubai two times already, so you know, like I've, did, I've been dealing with like some real deals. Do they rock them fucking the head wraps where it looks like a jelly jar? I mean, only when wait, I'm supposed to say that. Um, only when, only when what? <laughs> I think you. I, look, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep it 100 with you, Heidi. Keep it 100 with me. I'll keep I'm it 200 a, with you. I'm gonna keep it a billion. All right, let's do. Oh, baby, I love that word. I think. I think dick has been in you. All right. No, 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 no. I, I mean, think, listen. I just bought my first sex toy. Okay. Um, like about like two weeks ago. It was actually a strap on, but I don't have nobody, you know, to experience. So, so wait, with. hold up. You bought so, a strap on? Yeah, I bought. <laughs> I bought a strap on. You but what f- I did, I took the strap off, and then I'm just using the dildo because I'm already, you know, I'm trying to um, stimulate myself. So when I do lose my virginity, it doesn't hurt as much. So I'm preparing myself. Have you ever been fingered? No, I mean I stimulate myself like only from the outside, but not from the inside because I don't want to, you know, like break break the ice inside of me. The hymen. Yeah, the hymen. I I just learned that word recently, by the way. So I don't know. <laughs> What's what is, is Spanish your first language? Uh, yeah, Spanish is my first language, and English when I was like seven years old, I started learning English. Well, hymen in Spanish is el jimeno. Hemen. I think it's hemen or something <laughs> like that. I don't know. I would like to break all your hemen. <laughs> your hemen. You got a half a million. I mean, you got a million for for freo. Hey, but you can also cheapo. do you can also do monthly payments. Yeah, you, oh, so, so, you, you, so I set up, you know, like... Like okay. a layaway plan for that pussy? Yeah, so, I mean, you want to call a vagina better, but listen to me. Call so, it what you want, baby. Girl. The hymen. You selling it. So, for the hymen, it's um, half a million, which we already upgraded for $1 million. And, um, but um, it was um, monthly payments for $40,000 a month. Okay. And if you really want to know if I'm a virgin or not, then you can do a 
security deposit of two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Shouldn't you have? Shouldn't you like? If I'm selling, like, let's say I collect watches. If I'm and I'm selling and I'm selling, I buy fancy watches. They'll have papers that prove that. Of that, course. How come you just you're selling yourself? How come you don't have the doctor's papers being because, like this pussy? Has, because has been if untouched. you're if you're really interested in buying my virginity, then you're not gonna mind um, putting the security deposit of two hundred fifty thousand uh, dollars for me to prove that I am a virgin. If you really are, so I'm only but, dealing with the real people. I'm not gonna be dealing with people who just wanna approach me whether if I'm a virgin or not. You but know don't what I you mean? understand where I'm coming from? No, like yeah, if, I understand. If if you're really if you're really as authentic as you say you are, you would you would have the papers well the you, fuck, you gotta the earn the papers. papers you gotta earn the papers for this pussy baby so back to where was I listen to me back to where was you <laughs> Where was where what are you? Listen, but I'm doing this for a good cause. It's not like I'm gonna take the money and you know buy myself a mansion because Why not? I'm not an artificial like that. Why? How come you're not gonna use your money to buy yourself something nice? Because I'm doing this for a cause. What so is my, the cause? My cause is I'm from El Salvador. Okay. Okay. Yep. So I'm um, I'm Salvadorian and Mexican, but I was raised in El Salvador as part of my life. And um, my cause is that I want to use that money to build schools in my country. Because um, the gangs have taken over my country, so I feel like the kids are, are the Shit, future. they taking over this country. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> yeah, that so that Salvadorian like, gang's pretty big yeah, out here. Hey, so I feel like, you know, if we can change the school systems and we can change the kids and help the kids out and give them, give them more opportunities, then we can change the future of El Salvador. I'm going to tell you, like, mm-hmm. I don't think it's going to work. Why, why not? Because... We have schools out here and gangs but just not, run the schools. Yeah, but I'm not talking about here. I'm talking about my country, you know? I, I, yeah, if, I could, if I could get with the government of my country, I would. Have you reached out to the president to tell him that you're selling your pussy no, to help waiting, build schools? I'm waiting for him to reach out to me. Moment of silence. How long? How long? Well, I'm because that was the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Why is that? He might not even know that you're selling your pussy. Well, he's going to find out. When I start building schools in my country. Yeah, but like, if you talk to the president, you could be like, hey, look, man, I'm I'm finna slang this fucking gourmet pussy. (laughs) No one's touched it yet. No one has, by the way. For the... You've never been... you've, You've... Okay, the most I've done, I think I've let them like suck on my titties, but other you've, than that, you've given them some, you've, you have you ever, but it was, it hasn't been like, you know, a lot of people just been like one or you, two. Have you ever filleted a man? What's filleted? It's where you take your mouth and you put it on the man's penis and then uh, you go up and down with your head. I mean, I'm not an expert out it. I've just, you, I, you have done it I've, before. I've dared myself to do it, but it's not like something like I know how to. What, how many, how many of these trips have you been? On. I've been to like over 50 different trips, but to like different 30 different countries. And you, <laughs> so you've been on 50 different trips. Yes. Because I've done like repeated trips. I on. get it. I understand. Um, like Paris two times, you know. You're, you're a beautiful woman. Thank you so much. But I wouldn't want to fucking fly you out if I'm not... If, I, if I'm not gonna get my dick wet, well, that's you, baby. That's I'm, many many I'm, people. They just admire my beauty. They admire who I am. As yeah, a but like I, I, you know, and they just want to have my company next to them and just like have me talk to them like, about what person. Just talk about life and their experiences. You know, sometimes like they tell me about their issues and I'm I'm helping them like relationship wise. So they appreciate that for me. Not everything in life is sex. You know what I mean? I understand that, but like. Not everything in life is having to hear you talk either. Why not? I mean, wouldn't you want to? You're not hear- fucking Einstein. Let's be like, it's not like I'm what are talking, you talking to- about. Listen, I'm an expert at relationships. I mean, after all, right. all this stuff, ask me any questions and I'll give you the best advice. <laughs> if anybody has any questions for, I don't have any questions uh, for you because I can't think of it off the top of my head. Okay. What should I do to get a girlfriend? What should you do to get a girlfriend? Yeah. Um, um. Well, what do you got to offer? Hard dick and bubble gum. <laughs> it all depends Same on the thing person, I got for you know. You. It, it depends. Everybody's different. So. Yeah, I feel you. I gotta get to know you a little bit better so I can give you a better advice. I would be so pissed off if I flew. Do they know that you're not fucking before you hop on the plane? 
Um, you know, I sell them the fantasy, so that's who I am. So I, I sell these guys the fantasy. What the fuck does that mean? You sell them a fantasy? So like when I'm talking on the phone with them, I mean, this is gonna ruin. Like if I say it, you know, because it's gonna ruin it. Because then it's like no one's gonna want to take a trip with me. But listen, yeah, to me. no shit. You're but, fuck. You're you're like walking false advertisement. No, I'm not walking false advertisement. Let, yeah. let me tell you something. Okay, it's implied that it's implied. Well, they got the money. What? Okay, so they spend like ten thousand dollars to over like twenty thousand dollars on it to be on a trip with me, right? Yeah. So like, I mean, like if they have that kind of money, like. You you really think they care if they end up having sex or not at the end of the day like they really don't because they can just go on the site and then get somebody else to do it for them uh, so listen has has there been any men that have been upset that you haven't had sex with them and sent you home uh, early yes there has been men that have sent me back home but that's not my problem what do they say to you they just said well i expected something different from you and then i'm like well i'm so sorry you had expectations of me and then they just send me back home. But it's okay. Or something you, do, like- you do know that like a lot of communication isn't verbal and it's kind of implied. What? Like more? Like, so, mostly like what? Like body language kind of? Yeah, that. And it's like, for instance, if I invite you up to my room late at night. <laughs> I think you're imagining already the way you're saying it. I, if I invite a woman up to my room late at night. What? Th- there's only a bed there. Is really like the, I mean no I mean like you know some men like they they count their regrets on me too so it's like you know it goes both ways but anyways so yeah so what goes both back ways to, back to my virginity because this is what I'm here for I I don't know if it's good what, <sighs> this is what I'm here you got for, a baby. boob job yes okay so I've had okay so I've had liposuction okay I had no it was actually lipo transfer I was trying to get a bigger booty but it Here, didn't work because I don't have so much fat stand oh my up. god let's see okay, let okay. me let's take a look at you alright listen alright she's wearing an all black sparkly yeah if you go to all out show we got the live going she's shaking her you don't have a fat ass but I like it's, it's cute ass though yeah it's, around. it's, it's like, cute it's like a bubbly ass that's what I call it bubbly you, ass you built like a um, you built like a white girl from the 80s <laughs> Like, don't make me laugh. So anyway, so I had like, life would transfer. Um, you, I've also had um, boob job. I mean, what I've, size? What is that like? And a, it's not that expensive. So I don't think I'm spending this on my stuff. Why no. would? Why won't you go for the top dollar tit job? Why are you looking? For, why are you because bargaining I hunting to, on tits? I wanted to look um, natural. You know what I mean? Let so, me see what they look so like. So right now they look natural. You see? They look like you got a tit job. Yeah. They're so nice. Then I also got my nose done. You got your nose done? Um, yeah, I know it's that good. Yeah, you can barely tell, right? What would you look like before you had your nose done? I mean, you can Google search me. It's like Google, right there. Like, pull it up. Let me see. I'll, I'll pull you, up. Her, pull. You you can Google Heidi Pandora, and then you would like see my old pictures of me. I mean, when I was a, when did you get your nose done recently? Um, like a year ago. Heidi Pandora. How you spell it? H e i d y Pandora, like Pandora Radio Station. We, which we, uh, we own now. Oh, you do? Fuck yeah. So you own me, baby. That's right. Ha, ha, ha. So. Uh, I love this mic, by mine. the way. Hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, you me up? Your nose ain't bad. Where is it, baby? I can't even see it. I'm looking on my computer. Oh, okay. Here. You got a cute nose. I do. I did. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It was just a little wider. You can do that before and after. It's fine. I just didn't like it because it was like imperfect. You know what I mean? So it had like a little curve. I don't know. I, I don't know. It's fine. Yeah, I like I like your old, I like your throwback nose. My throwback nose. Yeah. Throwback Thursday, bitches. You ever snort coke? Oh, it's right here. Look, look. No, I never do that. Yeah, I don't, you got I don't nose, do drugs or Your old that. nose looks like you do all the coke. Look at that. That was me back then. You see that? You see that? Yeah, look, you. I look like a frog. Looking. No, you're, you're good looking. Uh, that that made me look like a frog. You really? Do you do you want to get any more work done? Um, I'll probably do like, you know, as I'm aging so I can like stay looking young. You know what I think? What do you think? Baby? I think that you fucking with all of this work that you got done, you got You got a hymen put back in your, in your vagina. I learned, I learned how to do this like a month ago. She's shaking her ass. Who taught you how to shake your ass? I did myself. Because what, like what I don't you? I'm at the strip, I, I'm at the strip club, but I don't know how to, you know, like work on the pole. So what I do is like, I, I like... Fuck the floor, but not what's, really. What's the, the dance? Floor. What's what's a, what song do you dance to? Oh, I dance like to a lot of reggaeton, per, perreo. You know, I was gonna say perreo. <laughs> that's not perreo. Perreo. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> I don't even know how, what is pet. Pa- I'm thinking Ariel? of making a music video too. Just by yourself? Yeah. So I'm creating. I'm, I'm thinking of creating a song. Would you be? Um, how much for just like head? For what? I don't do none of that. Like I, I know, but like, like I was a sugar baby before. Like that's how everything started. Like I was a sugar baby. So sugar babies are they? They find like an older men that that are yes, established. Yes, yes, but go not on everybody there is not everybody there is looking for sex. Like yeah, sometimes they just want to go to dinner and have yeah, a hot chick with exactly, them. Exactly, some company. You know what I mean? Like because it, it's lonely grinding. Huh? You are. Like motherfuckers, they they work hard to get that money, so a lot of times. Nah, they some of them they just inherit the money, so they don't really care. You know what I mean? For real. Yeah. So it's like you never know. Put it a little bit louder, no? All right, go ahead. Now she's gonna, she, now she's shaking her ass. Not bad. John, will you do that in front of our producer, John? Just. John, come in here. She's going to do the reggaeton dance on you. <laughs> She's out of control, yo. I mean, I John do hosting sit- for nightclubs, too. John, sit in the chair. Oh, I like yes. okay. <laughs> All right, she's, now she's she's giving John a lap dance. <laughs> John, how does that feel for you right now? Yes. Oh, that murder she wrote me. Let that shit drop. <laughs> Can I turn him on? Yeah, try to try to get try to get him try to turn him on. All right, come here, John. Okay. Take off your headphones. Yeah. Now, I should have brushed my teeth. Yeah. I should have I should have brushed my teeth. She's rubbing off. Can I lick his nipple? Yeah, go ahead, lick his nipple. Now she's grinding on John. Oh, she pulled up his shirt, and now she's looking. <laughs> She's licking his nipple, y'all. Oh, my God. She's licking John's nipple. Oh, this is awesome. This is how I rub Yes. Uh, and now she's grinding on his dick. I like it. John is all for it. And, whoa. Oh, there. Uh, now she's doing a handstand. Doing a weird, weird, uh, almost like a wheelbarrow ass pop. I think it's worth the money. This is, thank you, Heidi. You were really good. You were, That was... I, um... You, we were live streaming that on on uh, we were live streaming that on All Out Show, and I'm just I'm about to post. Thank you. Damn, she's still now she's grinding on you and saying that you're you're so hot. And I I appreciate that. And I choose to believe that's you. why that's why I know she's not a virgin. She's lying her ass off. You lie. You came in here full of lies. You're like he's so hot. Yeah, he is hot, super hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I like older men too, you know. My ex boyfriend is 49 years old. Really? Well, you had a boyfriend that was 49 years old and he didn't fuck. No, I don't even know. How to fuck. Uh, we're, I, we we got to turn it down. Our our shit got ruined. Heidi, what's your what's your okay, Instagram? I'm good. Okay, so my Instagram is. Oh my God, I'm running out of breath right well, now. Well, you really, you really put it on him. You're hey, let me tell you something about this mic. This mic is the most amazing mic I've ever seen in my entire life. What would you do to that mic if it was a dick? It has a really nice head, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Look at that. It has. The, this is like the golden dick. It is. Heidi, look at me. Yes, baby boy. What is your Instagram so I can plug, uh, so I can post your da- you doing the dance oh, on John? Heidi Pandora. H e i d y. Dot in the middle, Pandora. I'm all right. I'm gonna. And Did you, you find me? And yours. And I'm she's, the one and only in the world, in the whole world. Heidi Pandora, and she is she is here to sell her virginity for half a million for dollars. for half a million dollars so that she can build schools in El Salvador exactly and solve all the problems. Yes, what? I want to help my country. I want to be like a goddess to everybody there. So you're gonna roll up five, five like. Five hundred thousand dollars here in America. How much is that down in El Salvador? I mean, they go by dollars too. So we're using dollars in my country now too. Oh, you guys use? We you don't guys, use pesos anymore. You use U.S. dollars. Yes, we use U.S. dollars. So how much is it for? Like a, I don't know, like 
To build you, a school? Yeah, to buy a drink at the bar. Just let's say I want to go go get a mixed drink at the bar and a, oh, and um, a steak. Like how much would that be? Um, I I wouldn't know, but I think probably like five dollars, maybe like. Oh, so yeah, you could be, yeah you could build the fuck. Like out. a water bottle would be like fifty cents. You could build the fuck out of a school. Yeah, I can, no. Okay, so my plan is not to build one school, to build multiple schools. Well, now, once you build but the school, also, but also I want to help the schools that are already built, and I want to upgrade them. And my plan is like to educate teachers better as well, so then that way they can who's, teach English who's at gonna the schools. Who's going to educate the teachers? You're going to hire somebody, or is it just yeah? Gonna I'm be just you? gonna hire. I'm just gonna hire people. Also, then I just want to like get an organization from here to go to El Salvador and teach as well. So I want to make schools over there that kind of like the YMCA where they offer more programs like swimming classes more sports um, you know what I mean so it's like to have more opportunities kind of like um, an after school program here in USA you're not going to keep none. you're not keeping you're not keeping systems. none of the money for yourself um I will, okay, so if look from half a million dollars, I will do like I will keep like a hundred thousand dollars for me but that would be like to help my family so to help my mom and my brothers and sisters are, most, they, are they down in Guatemala, uh, excuse me, El Salvador still? No, my or? mom is here. I have a brother in Russia, a brother in Spain. We're all over the world. My mom, my mom had seven kids yeah. from three different men. She wasn't a virgin. And none, of, oh. and, and none of us met our father. And none of us met our father. And then my What's, dad had 12 kids. So wait, so your mom's got seven kids with three different dudes and yeah. none of them met? And none of us met our father. How, my how are, you not, here how are you not a whore like your mom? I am not. I am not a whore. I know. What was but she, she's not a whore either. She was looking for love. And you see what I mean? Like, she couldn't find it. So I don't want to be she, like that either. She found dick. I mean, we all find dicks in our lives. Even you. <laughs> I do find dick. <laughs> all I gotta do is look down. You probably like that dildo, that strap on I have at home, don't you? Yeah, I would. Yeah, I love it. It's really good at stimulating. Have you, have you used the strap on on any men? No, I'm using it on myself right now to kind of like stimulate, what is it called? The hymen? So to, yeah. stimu to stimulate the hymen so it doesn't hurt as much when I lose my virginity. I'm looking, you, I'm looking at you with little tits. You were cute. What, my little tits? Yeah, the, I'm looking at a little tit shot. No, they were, they were like kind of like uh, two mosquitoes. I don't really like them. I like that shit. I, I, feel, I feel like if any woman can upgrade herself, she should upgrade herself. You know what I mean? Try to look your best. Why, why are you looking? Sometimes giving... Given, uh, Never downgrade, always upgrade. Sometimes giving yourself... Oh, so, so let me tell you something. You know the word motivation? <laughs> yeah, tell me. All right, so I changed the word in the dictionary. All right? You know, like instead of motivation, you want to say motivation. Motivation. Yeah. So I like to motivate motivate people. You know what I mean on wow, social media. I can, I can see why like you guys just, are paying. Listen you to me. To fly I just, you out. baby. I just got a new car and I just got a new apartment right now. What kind of car? I got a Lincoln um, MKZ. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And this is from being a sugar it's baby. Super. It's super nice. It's on my Instagram. This I is mean, from it has stripping? the rooftop and everything. Yeah. This is stripper money. Yeah. Yeah. This is stripper money, baby. I can make like ten thousand dollars in one month. I believe that. Yeah. You talk a lot, like, and you, you're flicking your tongue. What, the, what? But you don't suck dick. I you, learned all that. At the have you club. have you ate pussy before? Um. Okay. Yeah. So I've been with seven women in my life before. Okay. But, um, like I feel like sex. You know, sex is only penetration. Like, have you had an orgasm with anybody? I've had an orgasm by myself. But not with anyone else in bed. No. So I feel like my hymen is on the outside. You know what I mean? So you stimulate the, the hymen on the outside. Oh, yeah. And the then low, that's how it comes. The hymen's not on the outside. Yeah. You, the way, you, way you stimulate on the outside and you, you can that's come your too. Clit. Oh, okay, that. So you stimulate that and then and then that's that's how I can make myself come. But I don't do any inside, you know. I feel like sex itself is only penetration. But if it's not penetrating, it's not sex at all. Have Has anybody sodomized you? What the fuck is sodomized? Don't use this big word to me, babe. That, that means where... Well, I'm helping you because now when someone's like, hey... I'd like I I'd like to sodomize you. <laughs> sodomize me, baby. Uh, that means butt fuck you. Oh, <laughs> still want it? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm saving all of that. A lot. There's, there's okay, but listen to me. When I sell my virginity, <sighs> Go when ahead. I when I sell my virginity, I do not want it to be like um like have a relationship with that person either. You know what I mean? Like it's just like lose my virginity once and that's it. And you just keep it pushing and keep it moving, keep life moving. What that's are you it. gonna do if? Okay. God, let me let me, uh, let me finish the fucking question. Okay. She's li she's flicking her tongue at me right now. <laughs> what are you gonna do? God forbid. If no one buys your virginity, someone will buy my virginity. Well, you have to stay positive. Okay, I'm just saying. Like, what is your what is what is your backup plan? 
Uh, my backup plan is obviously I'm gonna open a foundation and have a charity where like people can go d and donate to that foundation are you gonna, are and you use that money for um, to go to El Salvador and build the schools. How much longer do you plan on being a, vir a virgin? Is my question for the rest of my life if I have to. So I'm you're gonna, gonna die a virgin. Okay, so look, I do meditation, right? So, no, you don't. You, you, yes, I, I do. You baby. can't keep still. You've been fucking very... jumping all around. <laughs> Baby, believe it or not, it was I've, like you snorted I've some doing, Adderall. No, and came in no, here. no, no, no. I've been doing. I took a five-hour energy drink. Is that I what it was? That. Okay, yeah. yeah. Those, listen I, to me. I like listen to me. Listen, listen, baby. I'm listening, girl. All right, sprinkle me. So I'm a spiritual person. Okay. Yeah. So I've been doing med meditation since I was five years old. So I was able to open my third eye. Okay. I'd like to open and, that third eye. And because of that, Put a dick in it. because of that, I see my, I see the world being different. You know, I see it in a spiritual way, not, yeah. in, not in like a humanity way. Have you seen your dad yet? No, I never met. Okay, I never. Wait, what? I don't get it. Have you used your third eye to find your father? No, that's not. <laughs> don't say that. No, but I've been out of space before. Have you? Yes, I did. As because I do astral projection. That's fucking cool. So like, like I can get out of my body in this dimension or travel to different dimensions. I'm not gonna hey hey but back to the virginity I'm not gonna just I, I believe you on that shit okay so that, maybe, do you do you understand okay, how I crazy think, that shit sounds I, think, I believe more that you can get out of your body and fly around the universe than that you haven't had some dick in you no baby listen to me I'm a virgin okay I know it's hard to tell because of the way I present myself You're, all you do is sell sex you let me I, I'm a sex symbol with Everything, my, that's I what I'm saying. Simple. You listen sell all the sex, no, but you no, haven't given up the no, pussy yet. Exactly. So listen, there's a difference between sex and sex appeal. Do you know what, I, we know what that is? Yeah, tell me. Oh, right. Tell <laughs> me. Just tell me because I'm, I'm dumb. A, just because I'm a virgin doesn't mean that I cannot have sex appeal, even though it has the word sex in it. Listen to me. Sex appeal is like confidence. You know, someone with like a good ego, like confidence with yourself and your sexuality. But it doesn't mean that you need to have you need to have sex to have sex appeal. So you got sex appeal. So I got a lot of fucking sex appeal. Well, yeah, clearly. Did you see how I was dancing on him? I did see how you were dancing and, then, exactly. and how you lied to him. All right. You're like. You want to take calls? Yeah. You want? Yeah. Let's let's have the public join us. Okay. Let's let's go to the phone lines. This is the best. Oh my god, you guys are so hot. <laughs> I feel hot. Go ahead. Hey, Keenan, you might want to grab a, uh, one of those mics and put it up to this. Hello. Go ahead, man. Uh, we got Mike in Toronto. Hi, Mike in Toronto. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I think you would have a better chance of raising five hundred thousand if you fucking pledged to never speak again. You are so fucking annoying. So why Your have you been listening to me and not, not change the radio station, listen, baby? Because obviously I, I you like my voice. I literally, I literally sat here twenty five minutes, pain and agony. My dick is so soft right now. You are such a fucking turn So, so, so if stupid. your dick is soft right now, that means you were touching and trying to stimulate it, so hearing my stupid. voice. You. You Baby, have just a bird imagine brain. having my voice as a ringtone. You have a bird brain. You should take your ten dollar pussy and go get a job at Walmart. Is that a ten dollar pussy? Because stupid. I make ten thousand dollars a month at the strip club. Thank okay. you. Next okay. phone call. Thank right. you. So I hung up on him. I know, right? Oh my god, I can't believe that he was said that. He's very probably, hurtful. He's I'm probably surprised. still listening to me. Boy, yeah. He said his dick is soft, so I feel like he was stimulating, trying to get it hard. You know what I mean? You're like one of those. You ever get like something stuck in the back of your mouth I, and you're I trying to get it out I your have, tongue? I That's what the, you're like. I think the day I have children, I'm gonna be a milf. Cause I'm fucking hot. <laughs> yeah, of course you're you're fuckable now. I don't think you're gonna be unfuckable as soon as you have a kid. I mean, okay, next call. Let's do this. Let's do this call right. All now. right, this, they're lined up for you. So. Oh, I'm sure they're always lined up for me. All right, I'm going. I'm just going straight down. You should, you should see at the strip club. I mean, I do how many lap dances in a night? It's fucking unbelievable. Alex in North Carolina. Hi, Alex in North Carolina. Hey, hey what's up there, Heidi? Hi, baby. You, I like you, your voice, by you the way. I know you do. You remind me of like the slutty version of Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. You're like <laughs> dumber than dumber than a bag of hammers, but. <laughs> No, you got to keep listening because you just want to know what your dumb ass is going to say next. It's just really great. Um, I, I, I find her intriguing. Sell your virginity because nobody is going to pay for it. And your family doesn't need money. They're all over the fucking world. My family does like, this money. Your family afford to be all over the world? They, they, they got out of my money. country your so they can stop being poor. Spain, dude. Your brother lives in Spain. It ain't cheap to live in Spain. Yeah, he's looking for his dad. 
Trying to find them. <laughs> we all are, actually. Yeah, I you am. Are. My dad is supposed to be in Los Angeles, California right now. Yo. If shout you're out, listening, if, oh, if oh, Heidi's dad, if you're listening, she, does, does, she doesn't want... Speaks Spanish. She does, I don't think he speaks English. All right, let me break it down. Uh, uh, Padre <laughs> de, de Heidi, <laughs> if, uh, if you listen oh, to the radio... She, she wants to meet you. Oh, okay. Way, papi. But, can I send him he a shout barely, out? She barely knows you. Can I send my daddy a shout out? Yeah, go ahead. Hola, papi. Soy Heidi Pandora. Well, I changed my last name though. Yeah, he's not. He's gonna know. Yeah, I, it's okay though. It's okay. When did he leave? Your I don't life? want. Him, I don't how, want him to take ownership of the last name he gave me, so I changed it to Heidi Pandora. Did how old were you when your old man left? Um, I was six months old. Oh, he fucking. He 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 left for another woman. He was like, I'm 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 going to the supermarket though to no, get some leche. He actually, he and actually just said, fucking never came he back. He actually said, I'm going I'm going to Mexico, and then ended up taking his brother's wife and then bringing her to L.A. Damn, son. I know, brother. All right, let's like uh, let's go to Harvey in New Jersey. Hey, who can do this faster? Hey, Jew. Jew, yeah. I'm, I'm not talking to her. I'm talking to you. But I'm right, talking girl. to you too, baby. Listen. As far as I'm concerned, she can't get anything for the pussy she claiming. I mean, not for nothing. She sounds as if she, like you said, snorted a line of Adderall. She hasn't sat still the whole time. She says she makes ten thousand dollars a month, given how many lap dances a night, and she hasn't taken a dick. She don't even know what the fuck her hymen is. Her own anatomy is a question to her. And as far as I'm concerned, I don't think anybody's trying to pay for that. Like that's that's just ridiculous. And the, and the and the main reason I called up is how the fuck you going to say you denying papers? That's like a dope. That's like that's like a a, a, a fucking athlete denying to take the test before the fight. No, that's I'm not bullshit. denying it. I'm not denying though. it because listen, baby, cheap people like you are trying to find out yeah, if I'm a virgin or not. So only people who are serious about buying my virginity, um, if you're really serious and have the money, then you I can prove to you that I'm a virgin or not. But I'm not gonna down downgrade myself. For people like you, you know, to try oh, to you're not going to downgrade myself. yourself. Yeah. Jude, did you hear what the fuck she just said? Yeah, go ahead and rub on your hymen outside of your skirt. You fucking weirdo. He's not a skirt. Listen, he's a shorts, baby. I, I love your show. Nice. I listen to it all the time. We'll I never, keep I, very, I very rarely get annoyed with your guests, but this is uh this is ridiculous show. You're taking it too serious, son. Relax. Yeah, don't take it too serious, baby. Go, relax, go, bro. Go, go eat some cereal. <laughs> if if Heidi's pissing you off, just relax. She's uh. I tend to piss she's just people, try, a lot of people off. She's just a, she's just a happy little Salvadorian know, that's trying right? to finesse some people out of money. Exactly. Like, God no, damn no, it. no, no, no. I'm not, I'm not here. I'm not a scammer or none of that. Don't take me wrong either. I just... Have, have you ever had your vagina licked? I really like this mic. That's why I can't stop picture, taking pictures of it. What? Have you, have you ever had your vagina licked? Um, Yeah, but there's nothing wrong with that. That's not sex. Okay. And, it, and you've eaten pussy. Yeah, but that's not sex. Do you like it? I mean, who doesn't like it? How old were you the first time you did some sexual <clears throat> shit? <clears throat> I was 19 and the lady, she was like 36 years old. Because I was studying massage therapy. So we had to go to like people's houses and give a massage. Mm. So she was just talking, you know, about her like husband and everything. So I'm like, oh, really? So what did your husband do to you? And she was like, well, he doesn't pay much attention to me. So I was like, really? He doesn't pay attention to you? I'm like, you want some attention from me? And then she started rubbing on her and then like that. Did she give you a good tip? Um, no, she didn't. What a cunt. <laughs> what a cunt. I know, right? That's, chicks, I hate women, too. They overvalue their pussy. Listen to me. You're I, overvaluing your pussy. I don't, like, ugh. Like, Kareem is going to say what I'm going to Listen to me. Say. Let me tell Hold you on something. Wait, stop, 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 stop. We're why, taking... Why, why these girls... Listen, I know many women criticize me, but, like... I'm this, not criticizing. No, no, woman, woman. Oh, okay. Woman, like, if you go on my Facebook, you're going to see, like, all the credits and everything. Like, okay, people fine. hate me. Okay, but, then what? But let me tell you something, okay? But these are people who wish they were me and they're envying me because they wish that they were still a virgin like me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because these people criticizing me are probably out there getting pregnant from guys who don't even have money to support the baby. Second of all, like they're, they're getting married. They're getting married with dudes that are cheating on them, going to a strip club and seeing girls like me or getting on the dating websites and like cheating on customers. them. You know what I mean? So these are unhappy people who, who criticize me. Okay, let's go to Kareem in New Jersey. Kareem. Oh, I thought it was Korean, like in Korea. Hey. No, hey, he, dude. Not great. How you doing, Heidi? Go ahead. Hi, baby. Daddy. Um, I was just, I, I, you are intriguing, and and I, I, I kind of applaud you because if you could come up with a kooky little act to get on the radio to get some publicity to make some money, I'm all for it. You know, that you make your money the way you make your money. But FYI, virgin pussy ain't that good. It's really not. 
Yeah, virgin you know, pussy's you whack. Know, like you, you they can't take the dick. But like, people from Dubai love virgin pussy. Like Arabics love virgin pussy, and Indians love virgin pussy. Not Americans, because Americans like to use and reuse. It's like recycling trash. You know what I mean? You gotta let them talk. You fucking you get a whole village. You get a whole village of virgin pussy, good ones, and own them. Yeah, the mother. He's he's got a very good point. Like all those oils, so, like you're right. The Arab cats. Yeah. Like different cultures yeah. value virgins higher than most, and I, I see that in the East, like the you Arab cats. Because, because probably because them Arab dudes got little dicks. Some of them do, some of them don't. I don't oh, know. And they also have that extra skin. <laughs> what do you call it? It's a foreskin. That's what the foreskin is. That's what it's called when they have the extra skin covering yeah. the whole dick. Yeah, yeah. yeah a lot yeah, of people have that shit. Well, how would you know? You you don't you don't fuck. <laughs> nah, because hey, I I've seen that on the on internet. Herself, low key. Go ahead, Kareem. What's hey, that? Heidi, keep it low. Hey, Heidi, right, seriously, virgin pussy is, is not really that good. So Unless what do you think I should do? It up and, they, but the, these salt and... Keep stripping. Just keep stripping yeah. and learn how to work the pole. Learn how to work the pole. Do some, you know, get some talent in you and just work that angle right there. There but, you go. But, the sell the virgin but pussy you think that I will have gain yeah. more value if I give away my virginity and then try to sell sell it? Then that's what you're saying? I'm just saying I, I think that you fucking already... I don't believe that, you know, I don't think you're a virgin. I don't think you're a virgin at all. That's well, all I'm saying. That's, that's, you know, everybody has different opinions. Like some people believe me, some don't. But because of that, if you're really interested to know if I'm a virgin or not, then that's why you have to put the down payment, security deposit, actually, of $250,000. And well, I will hire a lawyer so that your sanction right, so is done through him. When's the next time you're going to be out here in Los Angeles? Anytime you want me, baby, I could just book the flight and come here. All right, so we're, let's let's follow up in three months because right, I feel like it's been about well, sixty days. Well, I already days. had someone offer me thirty thousand dollars, and I said no because I am not lowering my price. You think I'm worth thirty thousand dollars? Honestly, no, right? I know. I probably you are you're worth. I take you to coffee and then like listen to you talk and then I'll fuck you and put you in an Uber, but I wouldn't Uber pull you, baby. Or you can ride on my Lincoln. Holla. Holla right. Yeah. I know. Look at you. Fucking. I, look, I don't think you're lying about making 10 racks uh, fucking a month. Yeah, because I look dancing. for good. Yeah, and people, that's... I mean, that's look at his body. Look at that. Now she's jumping up just to show her ass. She's fucking she's out great. of control. She's fucking... Now she's... Now Heidi is throwing her... Now Heidi's just... That's my hymen right there. She's throwing her... She just threw one of her leg up on the fucking council and it's just... Cocking her ass. Showing us her hymen. Yo. That's a really nice hymen. You're like a slutty four year old. I don't know. Like, that's the best way I could. Like, yeah, let me tell you the smell. The smell is like when you put like that new deodorant that you've never opened before. Come here. Let me smell your pussy. Are you serious? Yeah, let me We're smell about that to shit. Do this right now? Yeah, let me smell it. Let me smell that pussy. Okay, let me smell it first. <laughs> okay. How are you feeling? Are you feeling confident? Yes, come here. Let me smell my pussy. All right, hold on. Oh my God, I can't believe we're about to do this right now. Roll, oh roll over, roll over here. How am I supposed to roll over? I don't know what that means. Here, I'm just, here. back up. Yeah. All right, touch your toes. Wait, touch my toes. Touch your toes. I'm about to smell it. <laughs> it's actually pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're in there. Yeah, I got a big ass wait, nose. No, you can, You gotta do it like this. I, Not like that. All right, hold up. Okay, all right, all right I'm gonna smell it. Wait, wait. Like this. Now, now she's in, in the seat, and I'm smelling it. <laughs> it smells good, but it doesn't smell You're like a virgin. You're turning me on. You're turning me on. Doesn't it smell like that new deodorant you just open up? Pop that deodorant. Nah, it smells like human. It smells good. It smells like it smells like pussy. It smells, Listen to me. It smells, if if it I were to healthy. ever have a product, I will have a product deodorant pussy dot com. Pussy deodorant? Pussy deodorant.com. I'm going to be real with you. A lot of us men just like the smell of pussy. So, like, I wouldn't be into Ew, that. Yeah, but there's different types of pussy, you know? Like, there's different types of men. But, like, anyways, there's different types of pussy that, like, there's seven different types. You know, like, you got the sour, you got the you got the sweet, you got the egg roll, you got the, what is that called? The the one that, oh, the fish, the fish. What do you, what would that, like, the sushi, you want to yeah. call it? Fish you know, sauce. You, got the, you got the pineapple, which is kind of, like, sour and sweet at the same time. And then you also, you also got, like, the lettuce, you know, where it's just very watery, but not as tasty and yeah. then you also got um, which we want to do like the fruit punch maybe you want to call it you, you got know that pupusa mean? pussy See, oh snap I forgot the pupusa yes how do you what you know about pupusa baby 
I got the pupusa thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's very white inside too. It's like the cheese inside the pupusa. <laughs> All right, we're gonna. Uh, okay, one thing I have a recommendation though. Like, I I would love to, you know, like after I lose my virginity, uh-huh. um, because I've been searching on Google a lot. I do watch Pornhub. Okay, it's my favorite channel in the world. Yep. Um, so I can like gain. I've, I see like gang banks and all that stuff. But listen to me. So, but like you know, like the squirt they call it. Yeah. Yeah. I I don't know how girls do that. I think that's magical. <laughs> I don't know. I like, could, I could get you to squirt. When I talk about it, it's like it makes me excited. I don't know. It's just a squirt. Like, 12 ooh. years ago, we, we or 10 years ago, I had this. Turn, I, like, I like an Asian lady I wanna, came I on and cry. taught me how to, how to squirt. How to get girls to squirt. Can guys squirt too? Yeah, I could piss all over you. <laughs> I could do that right now. Let me drink okay. another cup of okay, water. Okay, next call. Let's see. We're actually out of time. We are? Yeah. I can keep going and going. I, I know you can. I, plug everything you need to plug, and, and you can come back in a couple months, and we'll see if you sold right, that sounds good. sold that motherfucking twat. I'm so excited. All right. All right. Go ahead. Uh, tell everybody where to, how to follow All right. you. Oh, yeah. That's right. <coughs> Hold on. <clears throat> Should I say in a sexy voice? Is that your sexy voice? Yeah. No. Okay, listen to me. I will. <laughs> You're so funny. This is my laugh, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you do to the guys that, okay. like, All right, that so pay you. Listen, 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 listen. Okay. You can find me on Instagram or Facebook at Heidi Pandora. H-E-I-D-Y Pandora, like Pandora's radio station or jewelry. So Heidi Pandora, H-E-I-D-Y P-A-N-D-O-R-A. You can search me on Google on YouTube, no on dots. Instagram. Nothing? No doubt. On, in, on Instagram and on yeah. Facebook. The only thing on Instagram is Heidi.Pandora. Okay. Yeah. Heidi, it was really a pleasure. Thank you. And then soon, I will be establishing, like I said, the foundation and the charity where, where you can sure. go and donate. Sure. There's going to there's gonna be a lot of kids reading because of your pussy. Or, you, or I can create a GoFundMe account if that makes it better. There it is. That was Heidi Pandora, y'all. Bye, baby. News is next, and after that, it's the Pilly Pill. Pilly Pill. You're listening to the All Out Show with you. You, you. All right, man. Uh, people want to talk to Heidi, so we went, we went to music, and we're still taking these calls. You can hear it on demand. You might be listening on demand. Let's go to Nick in Virginia. Nick. Hey, dude. What's up, man? Go hey, ahead. man. The other day, you were telling a dude on what would you do, how these bitches be taking, you know, uh, using the, the, the hookup shit to get free dinners and shit. That's yeah. all she's doing. She's traveling the world on fucking dudes' dimes that think they're going to get fucked. And she's a con artist, just straight up. <laughs> That's all she is, man. What, what's your question? Why are That's you a con a artist? That's just, why are you a con artist? Why are you doing this? You know dudes are wanting to get some pussy. Well, That's you know what, baby? Let me tell you something. World. I don't feel bad to do what I do. You know why? Because these men, because these men are married artist. and they That's have why. a girlfriend or they have a wife and they <laughs> go out there and be with other women. So let me are. let me tell you something. Let me be their karma, okay? Because if you're married, you should respect your wife. You should respect the person who is dealing with your bullshit, right? So here I come as karma and take advantage of these men who are trying to take advantage of other women and their wife. It so sounds like I you're justifying your shitty advantage. behavior. I don't feel bad advantage. to do what I do. You they're know not what taking I mean? advantage of you. They're paying for your fucking trip around I'm, the world. Yeah, and I'm taking advantage of them. How is that taking right. advantage of you? They're not okay. taking advantage you're of taking me. Advantage I'm taking advantage of them. Advantage of them. Right. Exactly, baby boy. Yes, you so are. There's nothing yeah. wrong with that. If they're, if they're married, so what? You know what I mean? It just sounds like you're coming up with this shit so you can feel good about taking advantage of people i don't take advantage of people Be- nowadays like men don't respect who they're with in a relationship like there's so much going on with cheating and everything like that i know like social media has changed um you know like um it has affected how relationships work nowadays because there's so much temptation in this world All you right. know let's go to uh esco in dc like if i if, listen i'm not religion but if i had to choose a religion i would choose muslim because that way i feel like everybody's covered up and there's no <laughs> temptation and my husband will respect me more and there will be no cheating yeah they're, they're high on respect I'm, I'm Buddhism there. right now, but if I had to choose a religion, it's I would Buddhist. choose Muslim. Your Buddhism yeah, right now. Thank you. All right, okay, let's go to uh, hey, Esco. Go ahead. Yo, what up? Hey, Heidi, how are you? Look, I'm not calling to bash you like nobody else, man. You do your thing, homegirl. But I was just going to suggest, though, as far as like selling your virginity, I think it's kind of like late in the game. I think you would have had a stronger chance if you came off as innocent. Like if you was like a schoolgirl or something like that, you know what I'm saying? Never stepped out the house, got good grades. You probably had a higher chance of selling your virginity, but being like what you're doing now in your background, being a strip and doing all this other stuff, 
it kind of like lowers the value on your virginity. Baby, but okay, but then I'm not being myself. You know, I need to be true to myself. Why am I gonna dress like a schoolgirl and all that stuff when this that's not who I am? Because that's what virgins dress like. Therefore. Exactly. So I'm not your typical virgin. What's wrong with that? Oh, that should be a new right. single. Not but, your typical but virgin. Is, that's but a, that's you just thing, gave though, me an that, idea. That, that'll increase the value of your virginity. Right now, it's it's low because everybody's like, you know, what I'm saying like you a, you a car on the showroom that everybody's got a chance to see and sit in and all this other stuff. You know what I mean? It's not like that one. He, he's anyway. saying you're the floor model TV. Like, the, like you you'd be buying the floor model. Damn, this five hour energy drink got me touching my titties right now. That's, that's, <laughs> See, like that that's right my there, voice. Man, that's not something a virgin would say. <laughs> that's that's look. So I your, no, no, but let me tell you something. Give your girl a five hour some. energy drink, and she's gonna be doing what I'm doing right now. That shit is crazy. All right, let's I'm go. Sure. Let's go to uh, Mike. Go ahead, Mike. Hey, what's good, Jude? Chillin', man. Go ahead. You got Heidi Pandora here. All right, Heidi. So I did the quick Google search, because you said to. And first thing that pops up all over is you saying, in your words, that you're addicted to fucking dudes for vacations. No, so listen to me. I have no control over what the media writes about me. So they wrote that I'm addicted well, to having gonna sex. Quote you. They, they quoted me, I'm addicted to having sex uh, for free vacation. And I actually wrote um, to the son and I told him, why did you quote it that I said that when I never said that? And they sent me an apology letter. So that right there is not true. All right. Okay. So I was on the New York Post and everything, but I told him that that's not what I said. So you, you said you were misquoted. Okay. Yes, I was misquoted on um, on the on the media. I, I don't believe that you're I do it. Okay, sure. Um, let's go to TJ in Maryland. Go ahead, TJ. That's a nice booty, though. Drew, what's good, man? Hey, yeah, you about to get that shit for the free. I know it, because he was right, man. She, she's just trying to finesse motherfuckers, man. I think, uh, how, how how you a professional matchmaker? You a professional at love, right? Because you gave up. You gave up on that. You talk to these dudes about their feelings and shit, but you ain't take the dick yet. Uh, I just think Drew was right, period, man. You, you had dick in you. Yeah. But that's cool, though. You doing your thing, you know? Uh, you you come out with a milli on it for some virginity, I wouldn't pay for no fucking virginity. That's for sure. Baby, come get a lap dance for me Um, Baltimore Strip Club. When are you going to be in Baltimore? Baltimore? Listen, I'm in Maryland right now. You are? Oh, my God. I live in Maryland. Come on. I, like I live in Maryland. <laughs> I got, you, I got the truck Shout up and down Maryland. Maryland. I'm born in Baltimore. I'm born in Baltimore. She's to be in Baltimore my team. My man should sit right next. We've been listening to you the whole time. Baby. Don't get me wrong. You can get it. I looked you up on Google. You Baby. find the shit. Don't get me wrong. Baby. But a mill? Come Baby, on. Baby, listen to me, okay? I'll be back at the strip club on Saturday night. Um, Penthouse um, Strip Club in Baltimore. There come see me and come get a lap dance for me. You will leave so happy. Super happy, actually. Yeah. All right. There it is. All right, TJ. All right, bet. You. Good luck, man. I appreciate you. You can take me well. to the private room upstairs. Uh, let's go to Eric in Arkansas. What's up? What's up, Joe? What up, though, man? Go ahead. I'm going to say, good looking out for Heidi. All these motherfuckers trying to call up here. Hey, no motherfucker, because obviously, like she said, Heidi, somebody's got something all these other motherfuckers ain't got. So, it's like, so he's on your he, he's on your side. There you go. You, uh, got, you, got, you, you got one person that was on your side. Well, I had the Uber driver too. Like on my way here, he was on my side right? too. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to uh, Corona in Atlanta. Go ahead, Corona. You and that name Corona. Yo, dude. First of all, you're the man, John. You got a big fucking chin, but woman, you are dumber than a bag of rocks. There's a reason why your dad left your fucking mom. If you're any indication of your intelligence, of her intelligence, but he didn't know Second because person. I was a baby. Yeah. Well, you definitely fucked. You've taken more dick than a gay guy in prison. Let's be honest. No fucking woman says the shit that you say that hasn't taken a dick. And you've probably taken the small-ass chode dicks, too. These rich white men fucking have small-ass dicks. Hmm. You're fucking expert at taking them. Maybe that's why you're hymen as a broke. But you don't even know what a fucking hymen is. Like, who the What's fuck? What's wrong with that? Like, a million dollars to shut the fuck up and jump off a bridge. Which bridge? Any <laughs> of them, boo. I don't care a fuck. All right, baby. I, I understand you don't have the half a million dollars. That's why you're mad at yourself because you don't have the money, right? But Girl, um, I, may, I will send you receipts right now. I make just enough money. That's not the baby, problem. Baby, if I were to give you a lap like dance right now, you would get turned on by me. So don't even talk. Okay, next one. What is? 
I wouldn't. My girl is 10 times harder than you. She actually has a brain to work with. All right, send me a picture of her on Instagram. Maybe we can do a threesome part. I won't do penetration because I've been with seven women already. You were disgusting because you're so dumb. Literally, like, I mean, come the fuck You're probably an Aquarius. You know, Aquarius usually get turned on by intelligence and and intellectual conversation. You're an Aquarius, aren't you? Corona, are you an an Aquarius? I think he's an Aquarius. I mean, you're kind of right. I'm... (laughs) <laughs> you are an Aquarius? Damn. Damn. I'm a Capricorn Aquarius cuss. I right. told you. I told you. See, I'm an expert. I know all about signs. He's a cap. What all right, what am I? Well, you're definitely not a well, you are a fire sign. Well, I gotta I gotta I gotta go deeper to that. You're definitely not a Leo. You know what You're not you an are. Aries because Aries talk a lot. Um You know what sign you are? I'm a Pisces. You're slow children. <laughs> I don't know what that means though. So, I want to laugh. So signs everybody's that say laughing. slow children. <laughs> everybody's laughing. I don't know what to laugh about. Don't worry about it. It's I'm a Libra. Oh, you're Libra. Oh, so you like everything to be balanced. So when you have a relationship with somebody, you like to be 50-50. You don't want to take more from her and you don't want her to take more from you. She's actually true on that. Um, let's go to um maybe that's what you can do. You can raise money for children doing astrology. <laughs> maybe I should. That's more believable than you being a virgin. <laughs> Virgin, not virgin. Whatever. You neither. Ne- you're neither one of. You say like virgin, like saying bergen, or you know what I mean. How you? How you gonna talk about? Listen accents? on my next music video. I want you to be in it. All right, bet. Let's go to Artie in Dallas for one million dollars or the pussy. I'll be in your video for some pussy. Um, go, Artie. Oh, I want to get all the stripper girls like to come in this. Hey, what's up? What's up? Go ahead. Can you hear me? Yeah, Can you yeah. Hear me? Thank you. Yeah, my sign is uh, uh, Miss Pandora. My sign is V. You ever heard of that sign? Oh my God, this is such a beautiful photo. Which one? I can't hear him. V. V? v. Like Virgo? No, like these nuts. You know what I'm talking um, about? Oh, wow. oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me give you, let me give you my fake laugh. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she does to the rich dudes that fly around right there. Yo, that was a good ass laugh. I know you've been practicing. You've got to fucking hang out with people you, hey, you don't like you, for money. Try that, try that laugh. Try it. I can't laugh fake. Let's do it. <laughs> Bro, that's she so does not a finesse dudes, man. That's a, you, you're, what, did, what is finesse? Your stripper game is down. What's it, finesse? I know, I've heard of finesse because people call me fine. Well, no, it's like to, to like kind of con or like manipulate. Be, be manipulative. I am not manipulative. Like, I don't laugh if it ain't funny. Like, I don't know how to fake You're laugh. You're definitely a Libra. Yeah. All right, we're going to, we'll end with Dave. Oh, my God, Dave. What's up, baby? Let me talk to you like this. What's going on? You're on, Dave. <laughs> What's up? Dave feed. <laughs> What's up, Is man? it Dave? Is it short for Dave hey. or is it David? No, really, my name is Darius. I don't know how they got Dave. Oh, they fucked it up, Dave. Yeah, they, they fucked I it up. I almost called him Dave system, again. Da- yeah. All right, Darius. Go ahead, man. Yeah, sorry, Darius. That uh, yeah. But but Heidi, I ain't gonna hate on you like the rest of these guys that call. Uh your hustle, I, I respect the hustle. Yeah, Thank you. Money is shit. Uh, what, yeah, you what was the last part shit, about money you? that you said? No, I say you're funny. Oh, you're oh funny thank you. As hell. Thank you. He, he's, he thinks you're funny and he doesn't want to knock your hustle, he's saying. Oh, okay. But I'm not even trying to be funny. Like, this is serious for me, you know? Ser- I can't tell it's serious, but... <laughs> serious XM. And the Virginia... <laughs> Are you are you are you, are you a real are you a real ver- version? Yes, baby. Why? What is it about me that gives it away? I mean, that tells people that I'm not a virgin. You don't look like a virgin. You look like you'll fuck the shit out of me. Well, people. because I have a sex face. Not my problem. I was born like this. Well, with makes these lips. You, no, it's, these, these are my real lips, by the way. Look, because you because fl- people fly you around. Listen, look you've at taking this a list. bunch of trips. When you've God, been a sugar baby. Listen, when God made me, when God made me, he painted me and then he made my face and then he did his lips. They were like looking so fucked up on me. He was like, you know what? I'm going to give her better lips. So then he just drew this fucking perfect ass lips and then he's just like, so juicy you know what i mean so like if you see my pictures and everything and you see my lips you're gonna think that they're not real but did baby he, they're so real 100 percent. what he used to did he pull some shit out your brain to put in your lips to make <laughs> <laughs> inject some brain i can't, be, I can't brain believe injections. those are natural lips yeah they're beautiful aren't they um, but, imagine my future look, babies how they're gonna look i like. can tell if look can i touch can i touch your lips with you my can, hand you can kiss my lips uh, come kiss my damn, lips dude. kiss right, my lips on. hey who wants to see him kiss my lips right, come on come here 
Oh my god! Dude, you got the best. You got the best seat. Hold on, hold on. You can get on Instagram live right now because I'm about to kiss. Oh my god! I can't believe I'm doing this. Hold on, you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> Howdy, you need to go to the strip clubs in Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even ready for. I wasn't even ready. For it got I steamy I, in here. I even bit him and everything. Hey, dude, how was that kiss? Well, it was a He's bit coming dry. To the mic my, lip, right my lips are about dry, right? No, it, no, you, you're. Uh, she was real aggressive with it. I just, uh, I just wanted to see if that was real or not, and she <laughs> fucking went the fuck in. Uh, I was just sucking on it. You're actually a good kisser. Thank you. you. And you have nice lips that feel they they don't feel fake. You're, no, they're you, not. Definitely that's what not. I, that's because the, look, if they were fake, this is real, right? If they were fake, they would be like this. It's her. Her and lips aren't like, fake. Girl, hold on, let me tell you something. Girls who get their lips done like this when they laugh, they don't show teeth. They laugh like this. <laughs> hey, Howdy, you know I got a question I've, for you. Yeah, go ahead, man. You see the difference? Like, this? have you ever been to the strip clubs in Atlanta? Have you no, ever danced no, in Atlanta? No, baby, I wish though. That's that's one of my biggest wishes in life. Well, don't I think it's like it's, it's, it's a, doesn't that drive music, away. doesn't the famous music artist have uh, like a stripping? I don't know, dude. Probably yeah. Uh, what is that called? I mean, it's a lot of um, it's a, you, need, you need to go to Magic City. Yeah, Magic City is a is popular. That, wait, what's that guy's name? Future? I don't know no, no, he Two has chains? like no. He he's a very famous artist, but his right, okay. his name is like. It doesn't me. matter. It oh. doesn't matter. What matters is he's short. He was. I don't give that. a fuck. <laughs> Shut up. Oh wait, what's the boxer's name in the in Las Vegas that has the? Floyd, Floyd, Ma Floyd oh, Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. Listen, Floyd Mayweather, I want to give you a shout out um, right now. And I want to work in one of your strip clubs. You know, if you can make that happen for me, then I will be so grateful because that will also help for the foundation. Floyd, to build schools Floyd, there. if you're listening, if you're listening to me on demand, which I'm sure you are, he's a huge fan of this yes. show. Yes, Floyd Mayweather, um, this is for you from Heidi Pandora. Floyd I really want to be. This show. I really uh, want to be one of his strippers. Like that would just mean so much to me. You know, like the something literally. she's really shooting for. Listen to me. That that would mean so much to me. Heidi, I want to thank you for coming on. Thank you so much. You were great. Thank Your you. lips were real. Your tits are not. That's her flicking her flicking her tongue. Like I don't even think you cleaned this mic, but it tastes so good. <laughs> yeah, I haven't. No, no one's used that mic. That's uh, that's a, you were the first one. You broke it. Yeah, you got to put hand sanitizer on this shit because I put my tongue all over you it. You broke its virginity, Heidi. <laughs> Wait, my laugh. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> that, that should be your alarm in the morning. Like you put your alarm at ten o'clock and then it's just like ha <laughs> I'd, I'd wake up you're at nine. Even, yeah, you're definitely waking up. <laughs> I wake up early just to turn that shit off so I have to hear it. <laughs> wake up. <laughs> wake oh up. My god. <laughs> She's a fucking maniac. <laughs> Heidi, you gotta come back. It was really good having you on here. Right, and, uh, sounds good. This is for everybody that listen that pays that extra money and listens on demand. You got to hear all that shit. All right, baby boy. Okay, I see you. So follow me on Instagram and on Facebook, and you can search me up on Google Heidi Pandora H E I D Y point Pandora P A N D O R A. <laughs> there it is. Peace. <laughs> You're listening to the All Out Show with you. You, 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 you. And now it's time for news from the chin. With John Z. Matthews. I came across a story which says that 25% of Americans spy or snoop on their partner's finances. And women are more likely to do it than, uh, than men. Is that because how much more likely? So, it looks like one in five, 20% men and 29% of women say they have investigated their significant other's spending. One of the survey of a little over a thousand people. That makes sense. That that is slightly higher. Well, I guess I guess it's fifty percent fifty percent higher for women. Yep. Because a lot a lot of times the dude is like the breadwinner, and a lot not not all the time. Most most homes are dual income, but there's times where like the guy is the breadwinner, so the chick is probably like, "What the fuck is he? You know, where's the money going?" That's it. Now, more than half of those who do this say they do it to make sure their partner isn't overspending. Oh, see. Twenty-six percent. They're just curious. I, I mean, that. back in the day, a lot of times it'd be like the dude would work and like just give the check to the fucking lady, and she's like, "We need this for the kids, that for this, that goes to here, and then we put this in savings." 
It's like teamwork. Did you ever do this though? I feel like I feel like housewives don't get enough credit a lot of times. Like they be putting in a lot of fucking work. I'm not saying that my, being a mom is the hardest job in the world or no shit like that, but I'm just saying like running a fucking household. Hats off to you, shit. I can barely run my own. Would I what? Would you spy on your your partner when she's talked to them first, rather than go online and try to figure things out? Yeah, well, I, that's you know me. That's not my style. Yes. Sneaking around. I have. I've. I've never snuck. I've been. I've only had two serious girlfriends, but it was ten years. It was ten years total. I never once went in their shit. One time, like I was, I was going to fuck uh, my ex from Detroit, and the, like there was a condom on on the windowsill. And I fucking cussed her ass out. And, like, we had a big fight. She's crying and shit. And I was like, oh, shit. That, that was my condom. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. We're cool now. <laughs> mm. I'm, we are, I guess. Yeah, we're fine. Now, Americans, they're saying here, may have good reason to pry. 41% say that they have kept spending secret from their, their partner, including 39% of men and 42% of women. So they're out there lying. Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna be real. I say this shit all the time. We got all all of, Americans will have money and no fucking time. You know what I mean? Like we got we got cash and no time. Or like, let's say they're in a family. Wait, he's gonna fucking take five people to on vacation. That's mad expensive. Or he can just buy himself a, a new golf club. Well, they are saying men are most likely to secretly spend on booze, drugs, followed by video games and fast food. I got a homie that does that shit. He be sneaking, like, he be hiding liquor and shit all over the crib. He's an alcoholic? Nah. But. <laughs> it sounds like it. Hiding no, it. In the no, it's back. just his wife fucking, he just got the most controlling wife ever. Oh. I think he kind of digs it. You know what I mean? Like, I think he's into, like, the little cat and mouse shit. Like he'll he'll be like low key fucked up in front of her, and she'll be like, "You're acting stupid. Quit acting like an asshole." It's like, uh, <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. You know me, I'm a fucking. If I settle down, I want to be with a chick that I can keep it one hundred with. I'm sure, hiding stuff from. Yeah, I'm her. like, yeah, sounds exhausting. Yeah. And I like most of the people that we have experts that come in, they, they're they like, you should have separate bank accounts and then the joint bank account. Because what's the fucking like, if let's say me and you are gay, okay, which is fucking a hard thing to think of because mm. I'm just slang pussy and you dress, you do not dress gay at all. No. You'd have no fashion. Not gay. But let's say we're gay. Okay. I forgot what the point was. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what would, would you say, you say before it? that? Would you say before? Uh, no. We're just talking about uh, keeping secrets. Oh yeah, and uh, yeah. Let's say we're gay. Right. I'm like, there's no fucking way I'm gonna be like, oh, I better hide this from John. Hey, I've got a temper. Yeah, but I fucking I'll kick you out the crib. Hey. Send you back on the couch. Show you the hand. <laughs> I fucking <laughs> put you right back on whatever couch you can't crawl off of. <laughs> Yeah, if you can't keep it, especially if it's money that you earn, you know what I mean. Like I get it, when, I get it if you got like a gambling problem or some shit, and it's fucking up bills. But I don't know if she wants the money in the joint account. I don't care, take it. I'll put some money in the joint account, but I'm not putting all the fucking money in the joint account. That's my goddamn point. And you would you would die on that hill? That'd be a, a deal breaker. And fucking not just that, uh, a prenup too. Yeah, here in California, I think that's necessary. I don't even know if it holds up in Cali, but yeah, Cali. If you if if it's like over five years, it's half. Yeah, yeah. Taking that, taking that, taking that, taking that. All right, what else? Two people seems like they were infected with HIV after getting a vampire facial. In Can New you Mexico. show me what the fucking vampire facial is? What what that means? Oh, well, it's just uh, what happens is they take a person's blood 
uh, it's isolated to obtain platelet-rich plasma, then injected into that person's skin using a micro needling process. So they're oh, so they're like putting fresh blood in someone's face. Yeah, that's the whole. Yeah, but this is why do why is there two televisions playing fucking TV and nowhere where I can actually see what the fuck is going on? Chris, can you fix that? I didn't know that TV was screwed up like that. Because we're gonna need that one on the right, my right. So. Now, this facial gained popularity after people like Kim Kardashian shared their experiences with this whole deal. But now the two people were infected with HIV, received treatments with injections at the spa between May and September. Where was where where was this out of? New Mexico. New Mexico? Yep. Damn, that's like old Mexico. Go down there. Actually, I, I heard Mexico is good for like uh, dental shit. I used to question that, but I've got some bills that I cannot handle, and I'm told that Mexico is really a good option. No, nah, Mexico's like I know, I know, like legit motherfuckers that go down to Mexico and get their get t- teeth work done and save thousands, thousands. Man, all right, what else? So fucking AIDS. Get it the old fashioned way. Yeah, by getting butt fucks while shooting up with dirty needles. So I know that you're having a problem with insomnia, but now Ambien and other sleep aids, they're getting the FDA's black box warning label. I, what does a black box mean? So they are now warning, uh, let's say, against these rare but serious incidents that occurred when users of these medications experienced oh, sleepwalking. Oh, sleep, yeah. Sleep driving. Yeah, bro, that shit. I know. I, I know. I told the story where my my homegirl fucking took that shit blacked out and fucked some British motherfucker. That's spooky. Oh, yeah. She didn't even like him either. Just talking mad shit about him. I ended up smashing him. And, like, enjoying it. You know what I mean? That's the fucked up thing. Like, some, sometimes, like, when these people are on drugs, you don't know, you, like, you're, it'll be like you and I interacting, like, we're talking, and maybe I took too many drugs and don't even, I won't even remem- remember any of this. Like, this didn't happen. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Bro. That's, yeah, straight up. I know a cat that happened to. Like, the chick was totally that, you know, they're just having fucking conversations all the way good. She like starts sucking them off and they, they smash and the whole nine. And then uh like morning's like, hey, you wanna go get breakfast after? She was like, What happened? <laughs> Fucking didn't even know. Sorry, if you you must have taken Ambien over the years. Yeah, that shit don't work for me, man. Not at all? Nah. You know what I I was talking about yesterday was the boiling the banana. And? It worked. You oh, did it. It worked okay. Yeah, it it, it I tried. I made a point to go to bed early, and I slept from shit ten to twelve thirty, which is for me, which is pretty fucking good. And then I sat there for like an hour or two, and just was like, "Fuck it!" Like, give me some Xanax and fed a bit, and knocked out. But I'm doing. I'm much better today than I was yesterday. Yesterday I was wrecked. Fucking insomnia, dude. Boy, for this whole idea of sleep driving, I just... You'd want to avoid that. I remember when I did the Russian Xanax, like when I OD'd on the Russian Xanax that I got from overseas. This was back, I just had a fucking email. It, It was just an email, and I would just email the dude in FedEx, and he would send me legal fucking, uh, whatever the fuck they're called. Uh, test chemicals or whatever they're fucking called. Test chemicals? I don't know. Yeah. Sort of experiment? Yeah. Mm. You're not You're not supposed to eat them. That's the whole fucking deal. They're, they're, they're research chemicals. Oh. Send me some research chemicals. This just sounds dangerous. It just sounds dangerous, doesn't it? Well, <laughs> okay. the, the, and I've told the story on Ellis, Ellis's show before. I took the shit and I took I started feeling crazy and I went to go look at the thing. I was like, 
I took 0.5 gram. I put took 0.5 grams, dude. Like I should be. Why am I fucking freaking out? And then I went and looked back, and it was like 0.05 I was supposed to take. So I took ten times the amount. And I was trying to. I I, I don't remember much, but I was trying to drive. My sister was like, she, she knocked me down. Like, no, go sit down. I'm like, ah. Uh, uh. Why don't you hang out with me? I didn't know how to. I couldn't lie. I'd be like, cause the pussy's decent, but you fucking talk too much. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> I, it was like you. It was the truth. It was straight up truth serum. Like anybody could have asked me anything that day, and I'd have been like, I would have told. I'd have kept it one billion, dog. Yeah, so yeah, watch out. Ow. All right, what else? Cardi B. She's getting some attention. Uh, now this started yesterday. This was at the Billboard Music Awards on the red carpet. Uh, some some people online pointed out that she oh took a shot here, and you can see her her vagina. It looks like what, what? Who's she kissing? That would be one of the Migos guys. Her husband's Offset. God damn! It's like. Okay. Is it me or is it like, can I have one week where I don't got to hear about Migos? Very popular. And yo, like, I don't want to be a fucking, this is, this is the same shit when they were like, Kim Kardashian broke the internet. Remember that? When like, she had her ass all out and she was pouring shit. Oh, she broke the internet. Or maybe she was naked. And I was like, dude, she got famous for sucking Ray J's dick. Like we've all seen this and more. Why are you why are you freaking out? And that's the same thing with this shit. It's like, dude, she wasn't she a fucking stripper? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, is- her having her pussy out isn't that big of a deal. This is not like you get to see Mother Teresa's pussy. Not that I'd want to, because she's old and dead, but say she was alive and kicking, that would be much more newsworthy. They're like extra, extra ex-sex worker spotted with her pussy out wow ah crazy there it is i think we we saw jude on on sunset fucked up a man uh you know, it's like that's what the fuck we do alert the media did she did she like uh oh she went online and she posted a quick video which disappeared uh oh it disappeared already yeah she took it down uh, you can hear, hear oh, her. You, oh you can but she you we can hear her going in Let's correct see. Y'all motherfuckers going around showing this fucking picture. Now y'all photoshopping it even more. Like, oh, Cardi pussy, Cardi pussy. First of all, that ain't my pussy. My pussy right here. This is where I birthed my daughter from. This right here, the part that shows, you know, when I go like this, that's just my ass. You know when you got a fat ass? That shit gets fat right there. This part right here, this is the part that gives the dick comfort. You know what I'm saying? This is the part that, like, when you go like this in and out, that's what this nigga feel. That's that's my ass. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want to look at my pussy so bad. Y'all should have want to see me when I was a motherfucking stripper and I was promoting see? myself. Like, come yeah. see me. See? Now, too bad. Yeah, a- she got a point. She's got a point. I think she, I think that is her pussy. I think she's lying about the fucking Photoshop. Kind of looks like it, I guess. Like it's photoshopped? You could, you would know better than I would. I can't tell that shit. Is it, does it, does it seem photoshopped or no? No. I mean, I really it looks like her pussy to me. Yeah, I'd say that's a vagina. Like, it's the skin tone from the thigh into the shit. It stays pretty. Yeah. Good point, Cardi B. We're, we're, yeah. uh, so, I mean, it's what? like every generation, there's like a non, like, she's, she's just a character that they make sing from rap, like, and it, they're, it's catchy. I like her better talking shit than her any of her songs. That's all I gotta say. I don't know. That's cool, man. Saw her pussy, and and I'm I'm good for you, Cardi, for fucking answering back. But then deleting it, if you're gonna post it, just I guess someone finally said, "Hey, take that down." Yo, man, like you know how Instagram is. They're real fucking. I I I got flagged yesterday. For what? Man, uh the Jesus one where he's hanging on the cross and there's like 
there's two shots where Jesus is hanging on the cross and the guy's below. He's like, any any last words? And Jesus is like, hide the eggs. But um, bum And someone got upset over that? I uh, know. I don't. I don't know. I posted it three times because people was talking shit, and then like I answered back. So I don't know which one they which one they deleted. They probably deleted the one with the answer because it was like, why don't you make fun of Muhammad? I was like, I do, <laughs> but it gets me flagged because because Muslims are a protected class on Instagram. Everybody fucking knows that shit. I, yeah. Half the time I post some shit about that, it's like, I don't even give a fuck. I just do it to fucking troll people. I just shit post on cats. I just like to shit post. And I fucking shit post on Jesus. I ain't doing that shit with Muhammad no more. They try to hack the site, fatwa me and shit. I got shadow banned. Like, they don't play. Yeah, they'll come after you. Yeah, it's, it's not even worth it. I was like, they're like, what are you doing, man? Like, trying to prove a point? You're on here to sell a fucking book. Calm down. Like, I guess you're right. Yeah. Yeah, I bet you that's why Cardi took her shit down. So there. There's a study looking at freshwater marine life over in the UK, and they found cocaine and other pesticides, so lots of chemicals in freshwater shrimp. And I didn't even know they had freshwater shrimp. Hey. The last big story I heard about shrimp, this was a couple years ago. They were using, they were making slaves. Remember that shit? Like, they were making slaves get shrimp in Southeast Asia. What do you mean? Like, straight up slaves. Oh, they were out there fishing. Yeah. Like, all of our, all of our shrimp straight up came from slaves. That's not good. (laughs) Good. Well put, John. It isn't good to support (laughs) slave trade. But there's cocaine in the water. Man, dog, I don't even want to know. Our water shit, it's got a ton of fucking birth control in it. Do you drink tap water here in LA? Man, yes and no. I, I do, uh, when I, like, I used to be real particular about that shit, but then when I was kicking, when I was kicking ketamine, like, I was just so fucked. So I don't give a fuck. Well, but did, did you type in birth control in water too? Just type in birth control in water. It's just crazy. Oh, I guarantee it. <laughs> it's only came on. I don't. Yeah, I'm kind of like rethinking this whole birth control. Don't don't blame birth. Don't blame the pill for estrogen and drinking water. No, that's that's from plastics, but there there might be some birth control in water. That's all I'm saying. Birth control pills not a major. Um, let's see. Oh, couldn't find that page. WebMD. WebMD took it down. They they re, they redacted their fucking saying that it wasn't in the drinking water. Well, New report. Birth control. Nah, I mean, man, whatever, dog. Again, it wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, me neither. But again, there's also cocaine. So there's just a lot of cocaine floating around the world. I wonder I wonder how the coke is overseas. You know what I mean? Like, because step by step by step, like the more hands touch it, the more it gets stepped on. Like I heard the coke in Australia was awful. Sure. Yeah, I met, I met some like millionaire from out there, and he was like, "Can you get me any coke?" I was like, "Let me fucking see what I can do for you." And he was so fucking stoked. He was like, "Mike, this it's a hundred and fifty a gram out there, Mike." I was like, "Man, it's this is way better." I look at this. They also found like we're kind of close to fucking Mexico, so. They, they, they what was also, that? They, they also found ketamine in the shrimp. So Hell yeah. They're getting all the Fucking repping for my drug. <laughs> woo woo. 
People are like, Jew, why, why, why you got like a hyena fucking weed strain? Why, why is your weed strain? Why do you, you don't even smoke weed? Why do you got, I'm like, bitch, cause I do drugs and like, I can't fucking sell. There can't be a fucking hyena ketamine. If there was, I would, I'd have it. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I do some good news for you. I thought that was the good news. The fucking shrimp are fucking yacked out of their minds, shrimping it up. Coke and ketamine. Yeah. Fucking, I I call that Calvin Klein. (laughs) Do a little Coke and ketamine, a little CK1. And now, time for good news. I have this old trumpeter, Mona Schaefer. She is 96 years old out of Ohio. And she's still with this band, the Moonlight Serenaders. So she is one of the original founding members from 1951. For real. So again, she's 96. I've got her playing here. Let's let's, let's hear. Her. She's in the back there. <laughs> Sounds like a horn to me so yeah. far. When is she going to start singing, man? You... No. no, she's a saxophone. Oh, that's her? Yeah. That's it looks like a white dude. Oh, white dude. Well, you can't get... women get to get old. She... She... And wear tuxedos? No, she's right back there, man. Right... Where? Right right there. Oh, way in the fucking back. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, it's not, not. What is she playing? She's playing the saxophone. Well, oh, I'm sorry, trumpet, trumpet. Turn it trumpet, up. Trumpet. I want, when, when do we get to her part? Uh, we were just playing it a minute ago. And, oh, and it fucked up again. Yeah, but... So, right back there. Blown away. So she's 96, and she, again, has been doing this forever. And A recent report from the Georgia Geological Survey found that birth control hormones excreted by women flush, flush into the water. Huh. I believe it. Yeah. You just type in shit. You just don't know how to search for shit. You're like... Found that shit. Nice. That's the news. Good news. I found it. 